going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video in today's video we got episode number 26 of the no money spent squad series we're going to be adding a free 87 overall most feared player to the team and upgrading our free mystery player now if you guys enjoyed this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure to go ahead and click that thumbs up button show us a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for what 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so part two of the most here promo dropped yesterday we got a lot of things to do in this episode and at the end of it the team should be improved with more upgrades on the way first things first with this promo you want to play through your solo challenges because that's going to give you xp in the most feared field pass which can lead to a bunch of free 87 overall cards but not only that if you go into the solos there's going to be two different sections so the first one the arcania section if you beat all of the solo challenges get all 100 stars you're going to get a free 87 overall most feared hero fantasy pack so definitely get that done it's unlockable right now as part two has come out but you also want to upgrade that free spirit player and this is pretty easy to do if you go into the most feared solos there's part one and there's part two every solo that you beat within these solos are going to give you mystery or spirit letters and you're going to use those spirit letters to complete sets that give you an upgrade token that eventually allows you to upgrade this free player to an 89 overall right now he is maxed out at an 86 overall and that's what we're going to do in this video because of the part two solos we just got those done not only that earning all of the milestone stars will give you some most feared xp but you also need to do it because at tier three which is 120 stars not obtainable yet uh, that's going to give you the final upgrade token that you need to take this player all the way up to an 89 overall and that will be available the following or this upcoming thursday at this point i should say when part three of this promo comes out we'll likely get a third sequence that gives us another set of mystery letters that gives us another upgrade and then this one from the milestone rewards will be that fourth and final upgrade token to upgrade that player so we beat all of the solos it gave us all of the mystery letters we're now up to two different kind of hints towards who this player is let me know down below in the comments section who you think it is i've seen guesses all over the place here but if you go over to your most feared sets within the game the first two sets you're going to see here are the spirit letters redemption set so the first one we already did and the hint there was super bowl you can't see it anymore because i put the the collectibles into the set this is from the first sequence of solos you do it you get an upgrade token you get the player up to an 84 overall the second one and the second hint here and again i don't really know what this means but once it all loads up here it says train clock so there's our second hint on who this player could be we're going to go ahead and complete this set and by the way completing either this one or the first one i showed you gives you xp in the field pass as well so it's just yet another reason that why you want to do it but once we go ahead and redeem the set we're going to get another upgrade collectible and we're going to take that upgrade collectible and take our mystery player which is now at an 84 up to an 86 overall and next thursday when part three comes out when we complete that third batch of solos we'll have him at an 89 overall and if we go over to the upgrade path it, it's going to be a power rusher i mean i think that's what the archetype on the card is yes it is and it's right outside linebacker of course uh so here is the, the attributes in an 86 85 speed isn't half bad there if we scroll down a little bit further 87 power move is really good and then 84 block shed i think this card might be good enough now to jump on the field but once we get him up to an 89 overall we're now looking at 88 speed and if you're rocking a most feared theme team you can get it to 89 or even 90 speed i won't be doing that but it is a possibility the power move will be at a 90 and then the block shed will be at an 87 this is a really good free card and honest, honestly it's not that hard to obtain so i think we're gonna bump him up now to the starting right outside linebacker and make him a pass rusher on the squad before we do that we got a couple free packs to open one thing to note here is that we have two 87 overall bnd most feared hero fantasy packs now i could open up both of them right now and my initial thought was to take jalen phillips as one of those players but then i thought logically here it doesn't make sense to do that being 
think he's an outside linebacker as a pass rusher. When we're going to have this mystery player and add an 89 overall, we're also going to be getting that Micah Parsons card from the, the uh, Season 2 field pass, which is a 90 overall. So these are things you want to think about when you're building a no money spent squad and picking up BNDs. How long are these cards really going to last on my roster? And as I almost made that mistake, I'm happy I actually thought about it because uh, that would have been a waste of a pick. And these cards don't quick sell for a ton of training this year. So they really are worthless after they're not on the field for you. Now, what I'm going to do here is for this first pack, I'm going to take Landon Dickerson. He will be an upgrade for sure at the left guard position on our team. And he's also an Eagle. So we kind of got to pick him up for that reason. Um, but number two, I think I'm going to save this other pack. And I basically just did it with the pack we opened, right? We earned that pack from part one of the promo. We saved it. We waited. We opened it up and it updated. So with part three upcoming, I'm going to hang on to this pack and hope and pray that the 87s from part three not only are good, but we get one at a position that's actually going to be worth opening up or adding to on the no money spent squad. We also have this 83 plus pack that we got from the daily login reward. Maybe we get something better than an 83. Let's find out. Good thing is this is a non BND card. So even at an 83 overall, which I think that's what it's going to be, uh, we can make a very small amount of coin from it. Let's see what we can get here. Yeah, 10K, not a ton. We're sitting on 1.6 mil, which is really good for a no money spent squad. So I'm just going to end up hanging on to that card in case we need it for something else or if we want to get training. Uh, also worth noting that it appears drops are open for the entire Madden 24 directory this week. So you can tune into anybody streaming Madden 24 uh, this weekend and earn up to three free packs a day. You normally don't get too much good in these, but as I've been saying in all of these episodes, I am hoarding these cards here and hopefully we get Team Diamonds eventually. These cards could end up having some value at the end of the day, especially if you want to get any of those sets done and upgrade the team even more. Now, one move that I talked about making in episode number 25 was picking up this Isaiah Simmons from the Gridiron Guardians promo. And with that free Isaiah Palomao coming out yesterday, I think it tanked the price on this card even more because just a couple days ago, he was around 300K. I'm making this purchase here for 219k, and according to Mutt.gg, on average on Xbox, he's going for 198, PlayStation 206. So if I had a little bit more patience, I might be able to get him a little bit cheaper, but I'm not gonna waste any time trying to do that. We'll refresh one more time to see if we can get one, and we can't, but this is still, to me, one of the best users in the game. Palomao definitely is number one. 219k to make an upgrade here is a huge W and the better thing about this is that we're probably going to replace Cam Chancellor on the team uh, with this card which probably won't sell for a ton but it is a card that has some value because he's an 87 overall and 87 overall cards can still go into champion sets for the most feared promo so they still kind of maintain their value in that sense and I would think I'm just assuming here but we'll find out in a moment I would think that means that we can at least get a little bit over 100k back for that card which makes kind of the process of downgrading or getting rid of cam and upgrading for isaiah simmons uh you know more we're not making coins off of it but at the end of the day we're not spending the 200 the full 200k to make this transaction on the team i want to add secondary position to that isaiah simmons which means i need some training to do so uh, so we are going to quick sell some of these lower overall cards lower elites that we happen to have in our binder here we need 500 to be exact so 596 will get the job done there and also uh, while i'm sitting in my binder here before i make that change we did open up the quick sales that we had in our possession here and our strategy items we didn't really get much good with the strategy items uh, but we got another 10k on the quick sell there that appears to be the highest amount you can get on these so we're going to go ahead and get 23,000 coins again not a ton there but every little bit helps and we will now add a secondary position of free safety to our Isaiah Simmons and I'll explain why in a moment when we kind of show you the roster update there but it's really funny because I, I say this all the time it almost feels like every time I get rid of a card on my main account not that I got rid of Isaiah Simmons um, but every time I get rid of a card I add him to no money spent but this setup is starting to kind of look like my main team as well with my two users going to be Isaiah Simmons and Sean Taylor and then my you know my high safeties the guys that are going to be in coverage will be Eric Berry and Isaiah Palomao so let me just go over to the specialist screen here and we're going to get cam chancellor out of here and we're going to go ahead and add isaiah simmons to sub linebacker number two so in our dollar and nickel defenses 
again, our linebackers, our users, and we kind of switch between the two depending on what formations my opponent is on. And normally we use her the side that the running back is on in case they want to throw them on a wheel route or a table route or something. We have to kind of have that as our responsibility. But those are going to be my sub linebackers. We move the mystery player over to rush, uh, rush left end number one. So he's going to be a primary pass rusher now with Micah Parsons. And then we still got Aaron Donald and Kenny Clark at defensive tackle there. We did end up selling that Chris Brooks at running back. So we tested him out. Pretty solid card. Sold him. I'll show you the transactions in a moment. We definitely lost coin in, in that process, unfortunately. But here is the brand new defense now with the changes that we made. And here is the offense with Landon Dickerson in there. And for now at running back, and I know some of you are like, why do you have Derrick Henry number two and Foster number one? Because Henry's a higher overall. I'm trying to get a few more gameplay clips with Arian Foster. I also like him because he has that running back apprentice. But Derrick Henry is going to be running back number one once I'm done. Uh, but this is the lineup, and this is going to be the lineup for the next week or so, because as I mentioned, I'm on vacation right now as you're watching this video, so we're not going to be able to play many games, or any games, I should say, or make many changes to the team. I really did think about selling off like Mike Evans and DK Metcalf while I'm gone, and there's still a chance after I'm done recording this very, very video that we might just do that. But for now, this is what the team is looking like. Here are those transactions that I promised. We sold Brooks for 290 k I think I ended up buying him. Yeah, I paid 365 for him. So we definitely lost some coins there. There's the Troy P that we sold and the Vernon Davis that we sold. I mentioned that in the last episode. The Isaiah Simmons that we just purchased. Listen, I tell you guys all the time, I'm showing you every single thing that I do to build this team so you guys can kind of follow my lead there as you build your no money spent squad and i think that's where we wrap up the video i do have to go in and sell that cam chancellor card because he still has value at an 87 overall i'm actually going to do that right now uh, the 85 overall that we had i think it was kendrick green at left guard uh we'll probably hang on to that card i could sell that one as well looks like cam is a little bit under uh, 100k i'll sell him for 98k and see if somebody buys that one but he really did a did i put too many numbers there i think i did he really did a good job i still don't think he's extremely outdated as a user he's starting to be there but he did a really good job for us while he was on the team and we're still going to be over 1.5 mil with an 87 overall and when we get back lots of upgrades to be made i'm sure more new good cards will be coming out uh, that we can purchase and buy and we'll have a good coin stack to go out and do that thank you for tuning in my name is popular stranger i'm out peace